simply share with you my book, which I wrote when I had cancer. And I wrote prayers. And one prayer I'd like to share with you is entitled, Make Me Smile, Lord. Marami po kasi nakakalimutan ng gumiti dahil sa pandemic. Please don't forget to smile. So I read this prayer, which I made, and you end it. Join in the last part that says, Make me smile, Lord. When I become too serious, make me smile, Lord. When I become too anxious, make me smile, Lord. When I become too envious, make me smile, Lord. When the journey is long and boring, make me smile, Lord. When people are cold and uncaring, make me smile, Lord. When I'm tired and my strength is failing, make me smile, Lord. When I'm burdened with work and deadlines, make me smile, Lord. When I'm stressed with money and finances, make me smile, Lord. When I have to adjust to unforeseen changes, make me smile, Lord. When I feel like shouting and complaining, make me smile, Lord. When people around me become irritating, make me smile, Lord. When I experience loneliness and pain, make me smile, Lord. When I don't feel well, make me smile, Lord. When I don't know and I don't care, make me smile, Lord. And when I don't even feel like smiling, make me smile, Lord. Sisters and brothers, there are many reasons why you shouldn't smile or you don't want to smile. But there is one reason why you should smile. Because smiling is good for you. And smiling honors God. When you say, I have all these problems, but I smile because I know you're smiling at me. Keep that in mind. Take care. Smile. God bless you. When you smile, even a fake smile, because the brain cannot distinguish between fake and real smile, a cascade of neuropeptides happen in your brain. It will release endorphin, dopamine, and serotonin. The result is decreasing pain and stress, boost your immune system, and simply feeling happier. So let's do this together. I count to three and we smile together, right? Ready? Three. So smile. Do yourself. Do the world a favor. Smile more. Your smile is gorgeous.